Hurricane Irma ripping through the Caribbean, bringing death and destruction and leaving thousands homeless. The island of Barbuda taking a direct hit from Hurricane Irma. More than 90% of the island, homes, buildings destroyed. Nature is powerful. Sometimes it can destroy. Living on an island, you feel its power. We're living on the front line. In 2017, we had um, the Hurricane Irma, which devastated 95% of the homes here. We're really trying our best to get back on our feet and try to go back to some form of normality. It was shocking. We had to literally run out the house and try and find safety. Oh, it was completely devastated, completely gone, demolished. There was no power. The main power station was definitely gone. What we're experiencing now with a fantastic brand new solar plant, I am one Barbuda and that is very grateful for that. Category 5 Hurricane Irma made landfall and severely hit the island of Barbuda. The electrical system was completely destroyed. Such changes in the precipitation systems have direct impacts on the livelihood, the economy, the development and the very existence of these small island nations. The Green Barbuda project features hurricane resistant design specifications. This goes from the material, high steel grade, anti-corrosive coating that ensures longevity of the structures. The land topography has been leveled in a way to ensure drainage of storm water to avoid flooding of the sites. The entire envelope of the structure and the solar modules together can withstand category five hurricanes. UAE is helping us with our adaptation and mitigation, helping our country to become more climate resilient, and for that we are eternally grateful. Mazda is key to build this energy plant and at the same time to transfer the technology to the extent now that um, it has been operated by locals. Mazda were very instrumental in the planning stages, execution stages as well, to ensure that what we received for Barbuda was exactly what we needed. It is a game changer, and I think it's also a model for other islands. We're seeing that already. There's a lot of interest in other small islands to come and see what we're doing in Barbuda. In terms of the power plant, we had very major destruction. We can now boast to having a, a fully green solution in the day. Electricity is a servant of development. The transformation in lives that will accrue from this plant. I'm extremely ecstatic and quite hopeful Mazda is ahead of us in many ways. The technical analysis that they brought to the project design was excellent. To have a partner like that is a wish made in heaven. The design of the project has been put to test. In 2020, Hurricane Fiona made landfall on the island of Barbuda, and today the project is still there. The best thing that ever happened to me was meeting the members of Mazda when they first came here on island. I'm just proud to be a person that was a part of it from start to finish. It's very emotional because to know what we here in Barbuda have, has been through and where we are today. Mazda are changing lives for the better, so I am grateful to be a part of it.